Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? And, uh, as you have noticed, probably, I'm wearing my helmet in the tower. That may be a very weird way to start off the video, but, uh, yes, this is the weekly nightfall video that we always do, but for the beginning of this video, I'm going to introduce some of the new features of the update that were introduced today for both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And I'm pretty sure for PS3 and Xbox 360, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure that was released for all systems. And, uh, yeah, and one of the uh, little updates they added is that you can now wear your helmet in the tower. And I think I look pretty boss wearing the glass house in the tower. Looks better than wearing my character's face in the tower. Even though, I don't know, my character looks okay. I mean, wearing the helmet looks cooler. Uh, anyway. <laughs> On to the video, uh, I'm going to go through some of the features of the update. As you can see, right down here at the bottom, you have the option to wear your helmet in social spaces or you can remove it. If you remove it, which is already pre-selected for you, you will have your helmet off in the tower as you normally did. If you choose wear in social spaces, you will have the ability to wear your helmet like I do right now in the tower. Or in other social, I don't know what other social space there is. And uh, they also added accessibility, which uh, the subtitles right there. But there is also colorblind mode, which is uh, pretty sweet. So you can like change the colors of the stuff. I'm just gonna keep it off because, you know, I like default. Or I guess you could. I guess you can make like, I don't know. It looks like you can make like enemies like insignias pink. It's kind of sweet. Uh, but that's if you're colorblind, and there are some colorblind players who play Destiny, so that's there for you guys. And they also added audio. You can now adjust the game volume and the chat volume at your will. Uh, that's pretty cool. Glad they added that. And uh, there's an another really cool uh, feature they added, uh, and that's locking your weapons. As you can see here, it's locked. And this prevents this item from being dismantled. You can do this with all your armor and weapons. And it is pretty freaking sweet. It's a pretty sweet feature, not gonna lie. Um, this is in case you have like, uh, I don't know, you're having like one of those rough days and you're like accidentally gonna dismantle the wrong thing. It's locked. So, uh, you can't dismantle it so you know which one is the one you want to keep and which is the one you want to get rid of. So you can see I have, of course, Gallahorn locked. I do not want to delete that. There's a few other things I have locked. Uh, I think I just locked that. So you can lock Jolder's Iron Satch. You could pretty much lock anything, um, which is pretty sweet. And they did add the, like the little swirlies like next to, uh, so you know what your subclass does. Uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, onto one of the bigger features that they did add is you now have increased vault space, which is pretty freaking awesome. Now instead of 20 weapons, you can hold 36. That's 16 increased space. Which is pretty awesome if you're one of those people who collects weapons or has a lot of weapons. This is a great way to store them. I think this went from up to... I think that went up from... I want to say 20 to 24. And so did the armor slot. So basically these went down for more and weapons went down a whole bunch. So that's pretty awesome that they added. And uh, another really cool tidbit I noticed is... Uh, there's little check marks when you complete bounties. Um... So, you cannot tell when you have a bounty done, as if you couldn't tell before by this little star in the corner. But, uh, yeah. And, uh, here we go. Uh, that's pretty much all the huge features I can cover. And so now we're gonna hop right into this video. Which is, of course, is your Destiny Solo Nightfall. And this week it is Sepix Prime with Arcburn. I just did this Nightfall, actually, I think it's about a month ago. I did this Nightfall, and uh, it was pretty easy, so pretty much expecting the same results this time. And, uh, yeah. And here we go. Oh, wait. As an extra treat for you guys, I almost forgot to do this. Since colorblind mode is now active, I'm going to play this in colorblind mode, even though I'm not in colorblind. So we're going to go red-green. Even though we're not colorblind. So let's see how this works. Should be pretty awesome, or no difference. I mean, I don't know how it's going to work, but we'll see. So, here we are. Weekly Nightfall Strike with Epic, Nightfall, Arcburn, Light Switch, and Angry on Old Russia Earth, which is the Epic's Prime Strike. 
And uh, besides the, whoa, that's a deeper shade of purple. I can tell that right off the bat. And Thorn looks dark. Thorn looks so much darker. Holy crap. That's sweet. Thunderlord kind of looks a bit brighter. We'll continue to claw up the walls of our city. I don't know, you can see Thorn looks a bit darker, and so are like the purple shades in the background. Beneath the ruins of the Cosmodrome. Ruin wings In the shadow weird. of an old colony ship, we've located the house of Devil's Lair. Kind of a lighter shade of blue, center, I guess. Feeding them this. I mean, my armor shader looks no different. We I mean, I'm talking about the ship. God. And yes, and I do use a blue ship. It's called Outrageous hell. Fortune, just because you know Outrageous Fortune. You gotta have it. And uh, besides that, there's something uh, really cool. The House of Wolves was announced. Uh, I might be a little bit behind on that. Some YouTubers probably already other made other videos on that. You could go check them out. But from what I know, it's. Uh, yeah, pretty sweet. Uh, I think it's May 19th or May 16th. I could be wrong. It's one of the two, but uh, still pretty sweet. And uh, But one of the bad things that was announced is that there will be no raid for the House of Wolves. I personally was a little bit disappointed, but they're Fallen adding Empire. some new PvE feature called the Arena, the which I am pretty psyched for. And whoa, I just looked at the radar. That's sweet. Okay, so... The Wow, cool and colorblind though. It's freaking awesome. This might throw me off a bit, but... Holy crap, look at the color of that Ingram. You could tell it's green, but look at the shading. Whoa. Dude. Yo, that's sick. Colorblind mode. Officially sick. Whoa, look, that's, a, that's supposed to be a white... That's supposed to be a green Ingram. It's like white. It's like gray. It's like gray and white. Holy crap. Friggin' sweet. And on the mini-map, my radar, I'm purple. Usually you're blue. And enemies are yellow. That's sick. It's all in the head. Dude, this is honestly sick playing in colorblind mode. I'm glad they introduced this. Just so I can play colorblind mode, even though I'm not colorblind. That may kind of seem like an insult. I'm sorry if it does. I don't mean to be insulting anybody, uh, but playing a colorblind mode is pretty awesome. In fact, I might keep it on. Uh, okay, blue engrams. Looks like they're still just blue. It's like it's a legendary engram. I'd be like, oh, now, <laughs> now uh, blue engrams are legendary. But yeah, it doesn't seem like much else is different besides like the radar. Uh, yeah. Maybe some darker shades here and there, but the engrams look cool. It almost seems like it's a little bit brighter, too. And the red enemy insignias, they're almost a little bit darker. Like, as you can see, like, you'll see here when somebody comes out and see... Oh, reverb... Whoa, yellow's like light green. That's sick. Holy crap. Yeah, I'll show it again when I, like, aim at this reverb angle. So, look, that's almost like green. Wow, that's sick. Uh. Holy crap, shot grenades do a lot of damage. Wow, it's cool playing in colorblind mode. I like. I like a lot, actually. There's the river captain, I knew he was over there. Dodging bullets like the bosses we are. Actually, took a hit there. And I think there's just some drags over here. Let's see, yeah, colorblind mode. That light was never coming through that bright. That's sweet. Oh, there's another river captain. Didn't even notice you. I want to see like the light pink because in the preview there was something that was light pink. I don't even know what it was. I'm gonna look again if Right, so that's light green. That's red. And what's that? I have no idea Okay, so like light greenish yellow is yeah, like, kind of like a pukey greenish yellow. That's the uh, what's it called? That's uh, Reaver and uh, Ascended guys Whereas, uh, like, a little bit darker shade of red would be the, uh, regular. Here's my voice crack right there. Who cares? All right. 
Time for Shanks. Back like yeah, they need something ready in case some like brings me to like one shot. We got pretty much all the shanks coming out on this side though. Just gotta wow, never seen a shank. On... Well, I've never seen a shank like take that much aggressive damage and then hide. Usually they'll like hide and then they'll come out. Usually they're not like that. Came out, boom. Wallet are getting smarter. Another D going right. I'm pretty sure I snagged some sniper ammo somewhere. But, uh, it's cool. It's cool, yo. Cool by us. I haven't used any Thunderlord ammo. And I... Yeah. Part of me wants to. Part of me says, save it, save it, save it. There's a part of me that's like... I don't think I saw any, though. If I see some, I'll use some. Oh, oh I just saw some. Okay. I'm gonna keep using my word. It's kind of hard to use. Hiding like that. Here come the uh, stealth guy. Oh, and if you didn't know, also added with the uh, new update, you could apparently hear stealth vandals a little bit louder than they were before. I don't know if uh, it's really that much more noticeable, but I mean, it's gotta be pretty easy. So at least you can hear them a bit louder. Hi. That is deep. Just making sure there's no Reaver guys back there. They're sniping. Oh, I let him. No, oh, I let him too much. That's my fault. I'm making it harder than it has to be. Ooh, epic bullet dodge. Oh, right. He's still there. Whoops. Here we got about you, bud. Alright. Oh, and there's a dragon. Excellent. That gives us time to run over here and pick up some shots. Alright. We're in good shape. That's two out of three Nest Flares. Take out the blizzard, nice and quick. Uh. Whoa. Okay. Okay. All right. Like the raid, you know what I'm talking about. There's even more, jeez. I freaking, I shoot at the glass once, and I just like, oh, literally awoke the hive. Oh. 
don't think I hit a single thing with that. Whatever, we're just gonna 